Y'all see this jersey? This that Jimmy Butler jersey. This that swing man alternate. I'm thinking the Heat about to sit here, turn around, and start the 305 on the hype train. I'm thinking it's about to be a whole new ball game, but nah. Now I'm just wearing the jersey because it looked good while these Heat boys getting ready to go chill on the beach out there in South Beach, just kick back for the season. But um, today's video, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> uh, today's video is going to be something different like if you hear just because you want to hear something about vegas and vegas content related you can come back in a couple days it's not that type of video today um i kind of wanted to make today's video something different um in regards of just you know people realizing that we are our own people and to stop being afraid you know i'm not no motivational speaker i don't never be putting myself in that limelight but i'm human at the same time and you know, I've had a conversation with a number of you all over the last few months specifically about being con a content creator um, or being a social media influencer and the things that come with all of that. And I just figured this would be a good day um, to speak on that, because if you all have noticed, I haven't uploaded a video on the channel um, in the last three weeks. Now, granted, I was in Vegas uh, last week getting stuff together for what I'm going to do this week. Um, I have been in what they call a content creator block i've been in like a creator block where it's like i don't know where to go like i've got videos that i want to do i've got stuff lined up but it's just like you know which direction do you go and it's just a part of being a content creator um my message for today is going to be um or i guess the principal message that i want everybody who's watching this video to take away is that you will never be me ever and you know you see that in the title and i put that in the title for a reason and i want that to be taken literally because you aren't this physical makeup you are we don't have the same parents we don't come from the same background we don't think exactly the same our dna isn't exact like we're not a completely cloned version of each other and even if it was cloned it's still just a copy of the original so it's the same thing for everybody else watching this video like nobody will ever be you we are our own people now we may have similarities come from similar backgrounds but we're not the same people and this ties into vegas because also because i listen to people talk about how oh i wish i could stay in this room or oh, i wish i could experience this hotel and in all actuality all you need is one night to really stay in a room or a suite have that and truthfully just a few hours just to be able to go on a sweep even if you just was able to lay in the bed and just walk around the suite that's the that's an experience but most people want to have that overnight experience in the suite and the truth is just simple like people aren't willing to put in the work to make it happen people aren't willing to sacrifice scale back adjust their lifestyle for just one night it's the same thing for all of y'all who want to be content creators like you know me being in a content creator block is just something temporary but you know i've been filming for years this isn't the first time i've gone through it um and i'm gonna get through it but if you want to be in this space where you're going to be making videos online or you know you want to be a big youtuber or whatever your goal is for being online you got to understand this is going to happen but you also got to realize you are your own person so I said you'll never be me because number one i don't want nobody to be me anyway i want everybody to be better than me like i don't want nobody to be me like think about this i've been on youtube for seven years over seven years now and to a lot of people i'm very successful i mean to my own personal standards i've done good but i got a long way to go but could you do better than that if you was on youtube for seven years could you get more than twenty-eight thousand subscribers i don't know where my total view count is but could you do better than that most people the answer could be yes most definitely but it breaks down to are you willing to put in the work to do it and in all honesty for me personally like i've had a lot of excuses for things i've had a lot of personal setbacks on things and i could be more ahead than where i'm at now so i know most definitely most people could but a lot of things that I see when it comes to people being content creators or who are aspiring content creators. I've seen people who started trying to be Vegas vloggers who try to start doing other YouTube channels. I created my reaction channel so I could watch what people doing. Like, you know, that was my way of trying to also help people, you know, in a different light. But people get started, they realize it's hard or they're not consistent and they fail. So the first thing I want to say is for those of you who want to be content creators, like, why do you want to be a, a YouTuber? Why do you want to be a social media influencer like what is 
is do you want the, the money and the fame and attention um or is it just something that you like to do um if you want to do youtube you want to be a youtuber because you think having a whole bunch of subscribers is cool you think going around town and people knowing who you is like oh what's up blah 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 you do you do youtube right yeah what's good like you think that is just like the greatest thing ever then you're gonna fail don't don't even don't even waste your time um get on youtube or if you want to be a tiktok star whatever your social media desire is i know most of you want to be youtubers because of the money um you have to figure out what you want to do how you're going to do it and make sure that you're doing it for a genuinely interesting reason like something that you like to do like if you want to get in this youtube space in the vegas side what is it about vegas you want to film like you want to just say oh i just want to film vegas stuff i'm gonna tell you right now that's part of being a creator's block you're gonna put yourself in a box you're gonna freeze because you got to start somewhere you can film all different kind of vegas content some stuff is going to do better than others you're going to have days where you're going to film videos people not going to watch your videos because they don't care to watch it or they want to watch somebody else's and then you might have one video that just does great and then that feels good and then everything after that just people don't watch it it's just that's just how being a youtuber goes so how do you adjust from that like what are you willing to do like how are you willing to take that and adjust just like people who want to go to vegas and stay in all of these suites but they don't got the money for it but you see them on social media they spending money in their local hometown doing a whole bunch of extra stuff when they could have put that money in their pocket and gone to vegas for one night and stayed in that suite that they just can't afford to stay in you know it's all about what you're willing to do um for me i was willing to leave one coast and move to the west coast i was willing to give up my family and my closest friends and start completely over and in all honesty, it's helped me get to where I'm at today, because if I was still back home with my friends on a whole nother coast and the life I was living, I would not be where I'm at today. I can most definitely say that. And I ain't saying people got to give up their life at all. That's not what I mean by that. But it allowed me to become closer to Vegas because I was building the Vegas business. I was building my brand. I needed to be closer to Vegas so I could access it more. So. If you're going to be a content creator, regardless of what it is, especially if you think you want to be in this Vegas niche, you're going to need to be able to put yourself in a position to get to Vegas, learn how to batch content, but also scale it out and do it because you want to do it. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've heard people be like, oh, what does it feel like to have almost 30,000 subscribers and people know you? The truth is, it feels great. Like when somebody come up to me and be like, yo, what's up, TVP? You TVP, right? You do YouTube? And I'd be like, yeah. And they'd be like, man, bro, I love your videos, dog. Like, it's so cool. Or like, oh, I'm such a fan. I say thank you, you know, because and it's not because it's cool that they know me from YouTube. I mean, that is a good feeling. But my reason for doing YouTube was for business purposes, for marketing and to help people. Like, I've always liked to help people. So when I see somebody say they know me from YouTube and they love my videos to me, it's like, damn, that video helped somebody like that's what's up. Or I put in this work in these hours and somebody got something out of it. And, you know, when people like, man, I was able to plan my trip or I stayed at this place because of you. Like that just feels great because my whole purpose was trying to get people to see rooms that they couldn't find on the hotel website. Because we know most of the pictures be terrible or they don't show the whole justice of a room, which is why I started doing room tours. And so for those who book through me, you know, that's the revenue side of having a business. But on the YouTube side of it that room tour I filmed helped them to decide something and they enjoyed it that's what I love about it the most so you want clout yeah get on YouTube trying to get this clout grow these subscribers and when you fail you're gonna be hurt but it's also dangerous there's a dangerous side to being a YouTuber and having all this attention that I don't think a lot of people talk about which is what I want to highlight to you aspiring content creators when you do get to a certain level of success as you may view it or as other people may view it you lose personal privacy like it's nice to be able to go out and people know who you are but what if you just trying to chill and just do your own thing but or you like you with family or some close friends or whatever and you're just trying to have a good time and then people come up like oh you do such and such and you just kind of like i ain't really trying to hear this today and you just like but you like yeah and they're like oh my god i'm such a fan of your videos and dot and they had these conversations but you're not really in the mood for that today but that's what come with being on the internet are y'all ready for that? Like, is that something you will be okay with? And most people who want this type of statue will be like, yeah, 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 for sure. Like, I'm that's 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 nothing but the different position where you actually 
have to deal with that like you really have one of those days like just think of your day-to-day -day right now when you just don't feel like being bothered imagine like five six people running up on you throughout the day just oh what's going on and you just trying to be do your own thing that's what come with it you got to be able to embrace that and take that so stop making excuses y'all will never be me i'll never be y'all so get your camera it's so much easier nowadays to start filming i started <laughs> i want to say when i my phone i had was a was a samsung s3 when i started doing youtube there was no 1080p i think maybe 720 you got phones nowadays with 4k capabilities some have 8k capability so like the filming quality is the least of anybody's words like i have a mirrorless camera you don't need a mirrorless camera or a dslr camera no more your phone literally can function just as good if not better than some of these mirrorless cameras so you got a smartphone you can start doing youtube a lot of people worry about like the editing aspect i tell everybody i got a degree in google university anything i need to know i google it if i need to learn it i google it i'll research it on youtube phd and researching because I use the internet for everything. You don't know how to edit something? Well, find a video and learn how to do it. There's ways to do anything. So um, hopefully for those of you who are aspiring content creators, this was helpful for you. Um, but that's something I want y'all all to remember is that you have to just do it. You can't keep making excuses. You can't worry about what other people think. You can't do it because of other people like you have to make sure if you're going to do it you're doing it for you and if you're not doing it for you you are 99.9% .9 going to fail but you also can't fail if you don't try you have to film a video put it up there and then let the world decide if it's good or bad most of the time as a creator stuff might not look that good to you but then the more you see people talk about it and you start to like look at it after you've done editing it you walk away and come back it looks better than you thought so so just do it all of y'all who haven't stayed in these suites y'all want to stay in it's your fault like ain't no reason that i've stayed in these suites that y'all haven't stayed in like i'm not rich at all <laughs> like a lot of people think i'm rich i'm not close to rich i'm pretty sure some of y'all who watch the video make more money than me but i still found a ways i found a way and i found ways to have these experiences i was willing to give up certain things so are you willing to give up certain things to stay in these suites if you got a nine to five job are you willing to stop being lazy and do some extra trainings to get a promotion are you willing to wait it out are you willing to take a chance on yourself and take the skills and experiences that you learn at your day-to-day -day job and go out there and try to find a better job are you willing to do that it's all about the chances that you're willing to take it all ties together you want to stay in something nice in vegas and have a great vegas experience well what are you willing to do to make that happen you want to be a content creator what are you willing to do to be a content creator and be successful at it what are you willing to give up it all ties into the same but um i wish all of y'all the best and whatever y'all are doing like i said this is something different i wanted to do because I just needed to get my mind out of making Vegas content. It's just been a block that I'm in and I'm finally getting through. But being in Vegas, I was able to cross paths with a few people and it was cool to just be able to like translate real life things to the internet. And I think a lot of people get it mixed up with us being online and filming these videos that we're not humans. And that's why I personally try to tell y'all all the time, I'm human, just like y'all. Like I'm no different than the next person. We just do different things. A lot of my revenue comes from the internet and being on camera and helping people. A lot of y'all clock in or log in from your work at home computer. Like a lot of we we all have a job, but the level of success all comes on what we're willing to do. So you're your own person. And if you want to step on the internet, highlight that and showcase that. Show us what you can do. Show us what you truly capable of, how much you believe in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, then we're not going to believe in you neither. And that's how I'm going to wrap up this video. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. Holla at y'all in the next video.